going to show you how to fit a tail gut uh, tail piece together. Uh, this is the kit that I sell on Etsy. Um, this is uh, works for six string liars. It also works for seven string liars as well. Um, you take the copper fitting and you fit it over the end. And you push the other end through to make a loop. Okay, and now with this loose end, we what we need to do is to melt it. Um, so we're basically going to use a light cigarette lighter. And you just need to heat it. You're not trying to burn it. Um, what this does is expand. If you can see that. So we've expanded the end. Okay. Allow us to cool. Now what we can do, is we can tighten this up. Okay. Now we take the wooden dowel, put that in. And it just pulls straight up. This was that. That's one side. Now what you need to now do is to take this to the liar, and you're trying to work out how the, how long the piece to make. Now it's going to be different for different liars, and if you want a bit more space to move the bridge, the bridge is going to go here. Uh, but we want to leave enough space so if we want to move the bridge down or move up, we've got plenty of space room around. So I think about. So we're aiming for about there, I think. That's about right. Um, and we just need to add... Okay, so we need to cut off about that much. So we trim. Okay, and now what we need to do... Again, we'll put the copper fitting over. Again, we push it through. Now you need to leave it a bit of space, you don't want to... Okay, now, again we heat the end. And we're not burning it, we're not trying to burn it. Oh, we don't want to set it on fire, but we just want to melt it. Okay, um, I'm just touching against a cold object to cool it down. That's about fine, That's, so it's expanded. I put the call down and set. Okay. Now what we need to do is to push this to the end. Okay. It will pull tight once you put the strings on, but um, there we go. That's fine. Okay, so we simply then just click it in place. Um, and this should all pull together. Once the string tension's on. And as simple as that, it's so easy to do. Um, it's a lot easier than using copper wire. The copper wire, I've done it for about 10 years now, and it's fine, but you know, if, I'm send, if I send off a, a replacement towel piece to someone, it's not really something they can always do in situ. Sometimes liars like this, it's fine. But if you've got like a Kravik liar, for example, that has just a hole. Uh, so you have to do this on the instrument. You This is the clear uh, two millimeter fluorocarbon that I supply. That's the standard size that I do for most of my instruments. Um, this is uh, the, what, what I use on my student lies. It's a yellow colored nylon. Um, so as well as yellow nylon, I have a red nylon two millimeters as well. Again, this, these are perfectly good for six string liars. Uh, if you want a slightly stronger fitting, I do have some green two and a half millimeter as well. Again, these, uh, this works excellent on Kravik liars, um, but it's also good for six string liars as well. Now I do have some extra size tail gut as well. This is um, really strong stuff. Um, if you're using a, a thicker wound string or you, know, you just wanted something a bit more secure, this is really strong. Um, this is three millimeter thick nylon, and this is, very, this is the strongest stuff I've used. Um, works great for six string liars as well, but it's very heavy duty. Uh, it's never gonna bust or break this one um, and that's another option if you're using a high pitch tuning as well 
this is very dense material. Um, this is one of my standard liar bridges available from the Etsy shop. Uh, this one comes uh, with any of the liars that the standard liars I make. And to fit the tail gut, again, as I say, we just hook it over the end on this particular liar. And it just pops in place. Now we can double check. Now, if we do this and we decide we need a little bit long, uh, we can make it shorter quite simply by taking the tail piece off. And again, you can loosen it and you can cut off this piece here if you need to make it smaller, melt it again and start again, but this should be fine, this one. On my Etsy shop, I supply uh, a length of tail gut uh, with fittings and the wooden dowel to replace the whole tail piece section. Um, I say these work for six string liars. If you want a seven string Kravik lie one, uh, I'd sell this one as well for the same price. It's the, it's the, the slightly thicker nylon or the extra heavy duty one for seven string Kravik liars as well. This is another option. Um, but to be fair, any of these should work. This is um, This fitting is a lot stronger than the old Things that I had and doesn't require any extra super glue. Uh, 